we're going to show you how we're learning to wrap around the cone or wrap around the uh, pole a very useful foundation skill for a lot of sports and a lot of tricks um, including agility parkour and uh, send away exercises in certain sports we're going to be wrapping in one direction and i prefer to teach one direction um, at a time so uh, this uh, exercise I like to teach by luring and very quickly fading the lure out uh, using a hand signal um, and a marker, uh, a reward marker, which uh, in my case is hip, which Boo Boo knows means he gets a treat. And the placement of the reward will be important. So I've got a handful of treats in my left hand. I'm going to step okay. I'm going to step forward with my left foot and put, drop a treat at nine o'clock from me. And then another one at twelve and then another one at three. And then you can come up. So again, nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, three. Okay. Make sure the first treat you, you place with your left hand, the rest doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, after you've done it several times, the dog is, the dog is starting yet to expect, as you can see, that there will be some food uh, appearing near the base of this cone and they approach it from the correct angle. Yep. We're going to move the three o'clock treat to six o'clock. So we're going to be using a left hand uh, as a um, as a signal, as our hand signal. So air cheese at nine o'clock or air treat at nine o'clock, and then real treat at uh, six o'clock. All right, you ready? This is the stage that needs probably the most time for most dogs. Yep, because here is when they're learning that they have to wrap up, uh, around this cone completely. That taking shortcuts like this isn't going to work. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good boy. And this time uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to make that treat uh, at six o'clock appear a little bit further and further from the cone. <laughs> 